ultimately, I don't think there's anything really all that different. It's just, again, like I said, stuff added on. I think the problem I'm having is I keep reaching for the B button to run, and I keep hitting the Y button instead. <laughs> Silly me. Alright, the mass immune. Mune, whatever. You found a dreamstone. I'd forgotten how beautiful they are. You'll need to find someone that can process that mineral. You'll probably find them in Medina, a village near the Mystic Mountains. Take me too! Uh, not yet. Aw, oh, come on! In due time, babe. In due time. But for now, we're off to Medina. Oh. I think before we tackle... Uh... The next upcoming dungeon, we're gonna cut it there and save that for next time. But we still got a few more things we're gonna do, so we're not leaving just yet. After all, we have to rebuild the mass immune. You found some dreamstone! Then I'll repair the mass immune! Ho oh, ho ho ho! How on earth did you get the mass immune? And the dreamstone! D you know what? Don't tell me. I don't think my poor heart or old heart could take it. It'll take a little while to fix this. Now who's gonna volunteer to help? I'll lend a hand! So it's Tasha. By default, it's always Tasha. Even when she have Robo in the party. Or, uh, sorry. Luca. How are you going to fix it? Don't interrupt me while I'm conducting research. Shh! Not while I'm boring. A big digital high five to anybody who can figure out where that line came from. <laughs> to repair the mass immune, we must prepare the Dreamstone and activate the sword. You work on the Dreamstone, and I'll work on the sword. Okay, leave it to Tasha the Great. Ha 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 No, she's not full of herself at all. Not at all. And now it's more or less, an imp more or less a uh, cutscene. Just wait. Alright, it's done. Now bring me the Dreamstone. It's I'm done here too. All right, let's get all right. Let's get started. Got the voices mixed up there. It looks like Tasha's praying. <laughs> Come out, Dreamstone! I command you. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. Take a good look. This is the mass immune. Observation. How strange. My sensors are picking up spiritual energy emanating from the mass immune. That is impossible, Master. This man is a fraud. May I kill him? Well, I think that's everything. Observation. Ted, let us take the mass immune to Bill. Nah, that probably was, shouldn't have been observation. Maybe, uh... I don't know. <laughs> My vocabulary isn't working today. Sue me! <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I doubt his inventory has changed, but I want to see if he has any new equipment to sell me. Wield your sword with full knowledge of the consequences. Would you like to buy something? Eh, nope, nothing new. That's fine. <sighs> so I'm assuming you beat this before, right? Oh, absolutely. Indeed I have. I've beaten this many a time. Uh, yes, I believe here. Let's do this! Yeah, I like that. 
Feel, feel vibe. Randomness Rick, welcome. Feel the hype. <laughs> I can't say how many times I have beaten this, but it's definitely uh, at least in the teens. Because I remember I originally played this and beat it. Uh. And then found out, like, the ending I got I thought was kind of cool, but then I found out, wait, there's several endings you can get? What a concept! I've never heard of this before! I was, like, super excited about it. It was, uh... It was, like, groundbreaking to me. The, uh, the idea that you could play the game again and then get a different ending was, like... Wow! That's crazy. What luster? The mass immune, correct? A person in the Middle Ages wants to take down Magus with that. Okay. Oh, thank the American God, a streamer who knows what they're doing. <laughs> uh, I... Thank you? I don't, I, don't, rush to, don't rush to statements like that here. <laughs> I kind of know what I'm doing, but then again... I mean, I'm really new to this. This is probably like... I don't know, maybe my 7th or 8th stream so far? I only just started doing this uh, a couple months ago. But anyway, uh, yeah, hi. <laughs> 14 endings. Um, that might I think that might have increased with the DS version. But I think in the original version, I don't know, there's there's like different ways for it to end, just based on little things. Like, the, the one thing you may not have really just thought of right away is you could not feed your cat uh, as Chrono, basically. You not feed your cat for the entire game and you can change the ending, just like that. It's, it's crazy. There aren't that many little details, but uh, there's just... I think mainly what it is is you can get like the main sort of ending and then have some stuff left out. Based on things you do or don't do. Huh. <sighs> Well, I try. Um, I guess if I'm doing good while trying, I'm doing something right then. Well, the Cursed Woods, that's what it's called. Strange thing to call it that. And I guess if you're a frog, it's cursed. 13 endings on my DS. Yeah, I don't think I've actually tried to get all of the endings. I just kind of like... I fell in love with certain particular endings and that's all I really wanted to do. I don't want to try the other endings. I like completing it a certain way. Where everybody's happy, everything's wrapped up in a nice, neat little bow. But it's time to talk to Bill. Tis thee again, dude! Righteous! Th the sword! Tis the mass immune! Whoa! Yeah, it's kind of nice having open endings. <laughs> Dude, I must ponder in this turn of events. Remaineth here the night. I got plenty of munchies, soda, and we'll watch reruns of something. Oh, you know what? We'll watch reruns of Saved by the Bell. That'll do it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, again, I'm having too much fun with this. <laughs> Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes, it's time we took back the metal from the Frog King. I'd like to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you. And Lean and I need you. Our beds get cold at night. We need someone to warm them. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. Whoosh. 
Cape flip and out. This guy's got it down to a science. <laughs> Sir Cyrus! Ah, yes. My fan club. We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Listen well, my friends. Cape swish. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Mind blow. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? Glenn, you be careful too. Because I do have the hots for you, remember? Be of sound, be of sound health, your majesty. For I shall return, babe. Ever do the arena much? I think I did the arena a little bit. So, you want the badge of courage, dear Knight of the Kingdom? Well, come and take it, if you can grab it! Prepare yourself, Pollywog! On guard! Cape flip! Sword swish! Ha ha ha! Nirvana Strike! How about the ho? Crack! How dare you pick on a helpless amphibian! Filthy metal, I won't forget this! Gribbit! <laughs> yes, I remember that, the arena. Yeah, I actually did that quite a bit, if I remember correctly. I actually kind of like that. I thought that was a cool little gimmick, ju just for fun. Gah! Beware, Glenn! <laughs> Cyrus! The sword! The mass moon! Dude! Nya ha ha! Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing! Wah 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 wah! Ark! You have beaten me yet! C Cyrus! I'm a goner, dude! can't go on any longer. Glenn, escape while, you, while I keep them at bay. But, but, dude, if you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You'd, you'd better worry about, more about yourself, Cyrus. Hmm. Come on, Glenn. Go! Ah! Cyrus, bro! <clears throat> Run, Glenn! Ugh. I am dying. The Queen, take care of Lean! <clears throat> Cyrus? Uh, dude, you're kind of like on fire. You want me to put it out? Cyrus? Cyrus! Bro! Dude! That was heinous! Huh. What's the matter, boy? Aren't you going to try your luck? Hmm. Ha 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 ha! Cat got your tongue, kid! How about it, Magus? Alright, why not? There's always time for a little fun. Ah! Arg! <laughs> oh jeez, these. Uh, it's funny when they do that. Ha ha ha! Yes, spineless wimp. There's a fatso there talking up a storm. Um, if you want, as long as you just basically stay in big, fat, bold print, spoiler alert, yeah, sure, uh, randomness, go right ahead and spoil, spoil, spoil. Ten years has passed, dude. 
Can I do it? I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. I knew him, dude. So you guys are just kind of tuning in if you don't know what's going on. Um, basically, uh, I left it up to a vote for uh, people following me on my DeviantArt profile to basically decide the names of the characters based on, you know, names that were submitted to me and the ones I picked that I liked the best. And ultimately, uh, two of the names that popped up were Bill and Ted, as in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Because after all, this is a game about time traveling, and why not name a couple of your characters after time travelers? So effectively, both uh, Chrono and Frog, a.k.a. Ted and Bill, are basically talking like a couple of, you know, airheaded uh, rock and roll fans from the 80s. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Though we may fail, let us go to Megasus' lair, dude. I sense a righteous quest. Thou knowest his power? It is righteous, dude. I keep using righteous because it's a cool word, dude. Nothing can beat science. <laughs> Exclamation. We must do it to save our future. Though your future is quite bleak, for I will destroy you all. And of course, we have HK-47 here from uh, Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> uh, Tasha is a uh, name of a friend of mine on DeviantArt. Or actually the name of uh, his character, to be specific. And Jesse is kind of named after me. Yeah. <laughs> I, have an, I have an OC myself who's blonde, so... Just kind of figured, eh, why not? Anyway. So now we have Frog in our party. Bill in this case. So now it comes down to who is going to be our third in this little party. Um, Frog can actually, again, there's like four characters in this game who can all heal. One is better than the other. Although, actually, uh, Robo and Frog are actually pretty decent. As I get into the later game. But it comes down to abilities and dual techs. Um, I'm not sure... We can change this up at any time, I believe, too. Uh, I'm not sure Tasha and Bill have learned any dual techs yet. Um, we never had Jesse team up with them. Or HK, obviously. Uh, you know, what I think I'm going to do is have HK start off. Yeah. Okay, spoilers. I think it is so bad that Magus thwarts you most of the game and then joins you. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is a... Yes, that is a spoiler alert. <laughs> I think it's kind of obvious, though, at some point. Because, I mean, at this point, the game's been out for, what? 20 years? I think we'd be coming up on, like, a 20th anniversary of this game really soon. Not this year. Um, I think next year. Because I believe this came out sh after FF6. So, like, a year after or something like that. I believe. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Crit time. Bam! There we go. Blade Toss and Triple Raid. Oh, there we go. Our first Triple Tech. Triple Raid. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Uh, yeah. Actually, um... In my previous session, I ran into him, but I thought I caught him so I could fight him, but apparently he ran away. But yeah, it was basically a new that you encounter from the hunting grounds up there. Anyway, uh, I've got to catch up here on uh, <laughs> this stuff. 
game with that cool of a boss joining you? Um, yeah, I can't think of very many games where you fight a guy and then he ends up joining you. Or at least in that regard, where he's, ba he's literally, he's not just some random guy you come across. He's literally a villain. And then joins you. I can't think of very many games that do that either. Seven. Streaming got banned. Ooh. Ah, uh, hmm. Well, that depends on who banned you. And I can understand why that's a big deal. I mean, ultimately, you don't want to spoil stuff for people who haven't seen it before. But let's be honest. This game, along with a game like FF7, these games have been out for almost 15, 20 years. If you don't know this stuff by now, then... Well, you, you're missing out. You're out of luck. <laughs> and besides, I mean, is it really going to kill it? If you know this stuff right away? Oh, boy. Uh, so... Uh, let's... We're going to edit this out if we keep going. But right now we're running on 2 hours 30 minutes of game time. Oh, this next part's going to take a while. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to save it. Yeah, this next part's going to take a while. So I think I'm going to save it for the next stream. Besides, we got to build the hype. We got to build the hype. We're going to go take on Megas. I mean, come on. It's hype! You gotta love hype. But before we do that, I'm gonna leave you with this. Because the next part is hype enough. Let's just, let's leave this on a bit of a cliffhanger for you guys. Ah! Bogus! Gonna get sick, dude. Hey, you! It's Cyrus! Run for your lives! Is he gonna kill you? Dude, that's a hell of a kid, man. Just killing little kids like that. That's... That's not good. Sniff. Thanks, Cyrus. I owe you, dude. Glenn, there's times when people simply have to grit their teeth and bear down. But it hurts when I get hit, dude. It's like bogus. Besides, I'm not like other people. I can't stand pain. It hurts me. You're a marshmallow, Glenn. Ha 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 ha. I made the funny joke. I like a Cyrus, dude. <laughs> What's with characters in this game just being so cool? I think that was one of the appeals to this game. It's just there's so many cool looking characters in this Hey, Glenn. I've been thinking about becoming a knight. Wouldn't that be just awesome? I knew you were going to enlist, dude. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join, too? Every hero needs a sidekick. You'll be the Robin to my Batman. I don't think I'd make the cut, dude. But why? You're better with a sword than I am. But don't tell anybody that or I'll kill you. I'm serious, dude. You ruined my reputation and let people know that you're better at swordplay than I am. I will cut you. I don't know, dude. I think I'd really lose it if I had to hurt somebody. That would be totally unrighteous. Zap. Ah, uh, 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 the pain, uh, dude, uh. He was like, uh, and I was like, uh. <laughs> Sorry if this is getting laid on a little thick for you guys. <laughs> this is a, this is actually a really cool moment. You get some insight and backstory into into frog 
I think it's kind of obvious that he was Glenn. But hey, I'm just making it fun. Handeth over the mass immune, dude. I got like some stuff to cut. My name is Glenn, dude. Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now the mass immune. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor, bro. Make that which is most righteous be true. That's awesome. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that is epic. Bam. And he cuts the stone cuts the stone wall in half. Dude, and that pose! And he doesn't even say anything, it's just like, let's go, man. I mean, come on! You can't get any more epic than that! That's just... Uh, oh, I love it. I always thought Frog was a really cool character, especially after that. It's just too good. Now, if I remember correctly, these guys are weak to uh, magic attacks. So Slash works here. Be that magic you use? I have heard only magicians wield it now. Observation. Travel to the end of time and you may gain the use of magic. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot about that little detail. Nah. Alright, we gotta backtrack. Honestly, I feel like that's kind of an annoying little thing, little detail about this. You're ready to go take on the big baddie. You're ready to take on the boss. You're ready to go save this time. And you gotta go back to the end of time. Because Frog still has to learn magic. Which is fair. But I think after we do this, we're going to change up the party. Fortunately, it's not that far a distance to go. It's like a one or two fights, a little bit of walking, and that's it. Powwow over here. A pow and a wow, wow, wow. Cute girls. <laughs> what a weird fellow. Being a frog, let's give him water. Hey, that's racist. Ipso facto minimo magico. Aw, poor HK. Bill learned to use magic. Awesome, dude. So, fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Nah, that's okay. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. So, at this point, uh, let's uh, change something here. Now, normally something like a power glove, or actually even better, a power scarf would be good, but we got to give Frog, or Bill in this case, the hero medal. Because, I mean, come on. Read it. Ups critical hit rate of the mass immune. That's increasing how many times you're going to go critical with this weapon. And this weapon is awesome. I mean, come on. It's great. It really is. Okay, hang on. Let's see here. Heal is his next at 160. Heal beam is going to be a while. Uh, lightning 2 should come up soon. Okay, he has X Strike and Blade Toss, and that's about it right now. I don't think they're really good. The two of these. Uh, 
No, I doubt they're gonna learn anything new. I think it's when Heal and Heal Beam. When those two are learned, then they'll gain something. But they do know Triple Raid, which is good. So three times. It's basically X Strike, but with three. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's it. He's got to learn from these two. He's got to learn something from these two. I'm not sure exactly what... Hmm. I believe Ice Water is the first first thing um, he'll learn with Jesse. But with Tasha... I'm honestly not sure. Something with Fire and Slurp Cut? Oh, I doubt that. I'm trying to remember what the two learn together. It's been a while. But anyway. <clears throat> Let's, uh, yeah. Add a bit to 600 AD. Come on. Yes, the music is very, very good. Frog's music is pretty awesome. Actually, if you can read the text, you can see my Winamp uh, window is up. If you look below the title of the songs, they're all Chrono Trigger songs. They're all covers of songs from this game. Uh, you will see uh, something saying Mega Driver, and then right next to it, Frog. If you're a fan of some good old-fashioned heavy metal, and you like this music, and you think the two of them combined would be pretty epic, then I think you would like that. Oh, there we go. Bubble Snap and Sword Stream. Really? Uh, let's see here. So, Sword Stream with him. Because he learned water, that's why. He didn't have it before. And now Bubble Snap. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go with Tasha here. Let's see if they learn anything now that he has uh, water attacks. Okay, now we're just fighting, killing. They do pitiful damage. Not experience, three tech, whoop de doo And nothing. Yep. I forget what it is. I think it's like really high level, um, high level techs. That both of these two have to learn in order for them to get some dual techs going together. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, every track in this game I love. I can't get over it. Because I some of this stuff all day long. Alright, now we're ready to rock. But first, we're going to switch over to what I'm going to admit right now is my favorite party. Combination of Chrono, Marl, and Frog. For a variety of reasons. But one such reason that we will soon find, if ever we should, we should get there. And you'll just have to figure out, find out why I love this team later on. <laughs> uh, now for equipment. We need to de-equip somebody, so I think what we're going to do here is... Uh, we don't need to do that since we can't really sell it. Yeah, we'll just trade these out. I think effectively what uh, the game's trying to tell you early on is go with the team of... Uh, having Frog and Robo go along with uh, Chrono early on just because they learn all the dual techs and triple tech pretty quickly. And then everything else that comes uh, with Marl and Luca comes much later for them. 
And so these two, I think, are l better late game uh, characters to go with, like with Frog, for example, if that's what you want to go with. But yeah. Uh, Alright, so I think everyone's outfitted with what I want to give them. I got my party. The final save of the stream. The Mass Immune. And, you know, actually, why not? <laughs> let's just do it. Let's get it. Let's get there. We ended on some... We were going to end on some epicness. But now we're going to end on a an actual cliffhanger. Once we get to it. I can't even see those guys. Drop an ice on this guy. Ding. I like her attack. Oh, we got a dual tech. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, wow. They are freaking out. Woo. Get away from me. Get away. Ah, oh, goddammit. They made me fight them. You little bastards. But yes, uh, ice water is, I believe, the tech we just learned. In fact, if these guys will stop attacking me, <laughs> we can use it. Pretty silly attack. But you know what? It's cool. It works. It's a room clear. Yeah. Oh, man. Scripted battles here. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Alright, let's see here. Can we get multiple enemies? It doesn't look like it. Maybe if we cheat a little. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Eh, for funsies, we'll do ice water. Kind of a waste of time there. <laughs> when I could have just done this. But that's okay. Can't let those two have all the fun. Okay, are we done now? Can we move on? Thank you. Uh-oh. A note written in blood. The juggler is Magus's cra in Magus's castle. Strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. I'll tell you where to be. All right. And this is where we're going to cut this episode. The mass of And we're just simply going to leave you with this. This can only be... Vegas's castle. Nope, too scary. The world can save itself. I'm done. <laughs>